Hey everyone, Pupsker here, and today in Warframe, we're going to be talking about Caliban. This is going to be Caliban before he gets reworked. We're going to talk about why he needs reworking and just go over his abilities and generals. If you didn't know, during the next Warframe update, Kume and the Five Fates, we are getting a Caliban Warframe for free. So if you plan to farm Caliban, don't. You're getting it free probably next month in October or maybe November. We don't know exactly, but that's probably when the update will drop. So that means let's take a look and see what your boy does and see why he actually needs reworking, you know? Overall, Caliban in theory is a pretty decent Warframe. Like in theory, his abilities are pretty good, okay? If I look at them right now, passive. Allies within affinity range gain up to 50% resistance to the type of damage they are currently taking. Actually a pretty good passive. All things considered, I would say it's good. Maybe it's not game changing, but it is really nice. First ability is essentially just spin around in a circle. I get why this ability needs changing is because it kind of sucks. You spin it around in a circle and enemies or hitting enemies inflicted with Sentient Wraith create a destructive blast. So the TLDR is you do AoE damage and you spin around. It's not the most unique ability. We've seen a other like AoE spin around type abilities, but yeah, you heal yourself a bit because it does have a heal rate down there and it does a little bit of damage slash damage, etc. So not bad overall, but it's not a great way to play. Your second ability is Sentient Wrath. So this is what you hit and then explode using Razor Gyre. So with Sentient Wrath, you just hit the ground and do AoE to enemies. It knocks them up a bit and they just kind of like take more, more damage, right? Yeah, they get damage vulnerability. Does a little bit of damage, gives damage vulnerability. So in theory, you'd look at this and you'd be like, okay, that's like really good. You, so far his kit seems like decent enough. Then you look at lethal progeny. And in theory, this is also a real good thing. You spawn up little sentients, they repair your shield. They have a little damage multiplier, health multipliers, and you know, they're little AI buddies that run around, regen your shield and kill enemies. You'd also think that like in theory, lethal progeny would be really good because it regenerates your shields, which means you can shield gate a little easier, but it doesn't quite end up working that way because the delay between them healing you, being close to you and actually you getting shield gated is sometimes just too much. So enemies are just fighting around, not healing your shield and then you die. So it can suck. And then last but not least is your fourth ability, which also sounds like it could be pretty good because it is an ah, like small AOE blast that strips enemy armor at a 50% rate. Okay, so if you get 200% strength, it in theory will fully strip enemies of their armor. And you're thinking like, in theory, it's a pretty good kit. You have some heals and I think you might gain a little bit of invulnerability when you use your first ability. You do not gain invulnerability, but it like shields and builds up your shield. So that's pretty cool, right? You have your Sentient Wrath, which is good at AoE, brings enemies up. You have your third ability, which is just straight up spawning shield regenerators. And now you see I'm in like a pretty good overshield. And then your fourth ability, it's a little Kamehameha wave that goes into one position and armor strips. Honestly, like in theory, the paper stats of Caliban's ability are really good. Like he sounds like he would be a really good Warframe. It just, it doesn't quite work out like that in the end. Your first ability, it doesn't do amazing damage. So you don't really rely on that for damage. Even with your first ability hitting enemies, you're seeing like, oh, it doesn't actually do much. Even with your increasing your speed, yeah, it's not gonna be like the best ability, but hey, it is what it is, so yeah. Your second ability is nicer because at least it increases their damage vulnerability. So they'll take a little bit more damage, so that's nice. And then your third ability, your little Conkless, I don't think they're gonna attack these because they're not attacking me. Yeah, they just don't do much until the enemies start attacking. Like the damage on your abilities, it's just pretty weak. So you're not gonna be relying on those. Let's clear enemies, let's throw in the Orican so that I can actually show off the armor strip. Cause you see, they're all at 100% armor now. And then we do this, oop. I don't think I actually hit that one. Oh, it doesn't, it looks like it might not actually armor strip them properly. Maybe it just debuffs them with an armor strip, quote unquote. Or maybe the the debuff armor strip is such a bad amount. Okay, no, it looks like it kind of works. 
Maybe it only actually works on the enemies exploding. So you know how I said the, in theory, it, like the abilities read pretty good, but once you start using them, it's like, oh, these kind of like suck dick. Cause only some of the enemies even properly get hit with the armor shred. And it's only enemies at the end of the explosion. And even then it's not even a ton of them. So in actuality, using Caliban as like an actual Warframe in game sucks. It's just, it's, it's not great. He just does not work that well, which is unfortunate. Cause like you look at the abilities and you think they'd be really good. Yeah. Yeah. Drops on Twitch every week for prime time on Thursdays. Always different, right? Look at that. And you'd be like, okay, that's not bad. Cause I hit way more that time. Right? So you have to aim it at the ground so that it actually explodes near all the enemies. But now, now this is where it's going to show how annoying he can be. The Conkless does properly heal me up, so not terrible. But you may notice there's the delay of the Conkless not healing me. So that's what kind of makes it shitty, right? Is there's enough delay between the Conkless healing you and you getting beat up that you don't actually, uh, you don't actually survive that long. Uh, so as much as I like the idea of Caliban, I just don't think he works well enough in practice. Anyways, that's my unmodded Caliban. If I mod him properly and throw my mods back on, right? Crosser projection, some random stuff. Nothing, none of this is too serious because I don't use Caliban. Just to get 200% strength, stuff like that, right? <laughs> when I do that, you can see, boom. He works a little better. He instantly armor strips. The Conkless healing will be higher. The AOE of that ability will be higher. But you still run into the issue of like, oh, my Conkless, they're over here. They're messing around with this enemy, so they're not even shield regenerating me, right? So it's very unfortunate. A little bit of a pain in the butt, but that's just kind of how that works. So yeah, I get why they're changing around Caliban. It makes sense. Even his like spinny ability is just kind of goofy. It knocks enemies around, kind of, but not really. It does on, like, the first pass, right? Yeah, it just doesn't do enough. It's a little goofy. So I could take Caliban quickly into a full mission to see how he runs. He's just not a great Warframe for a lot of what we have these days, right? Because a lot of Warframes can shield gate a lot easier. Don't really need a spawned summon for that. Uh, let's quickly go Steel Path and just run a fast solo exterminate. Not even a long one. I'll probably just jump out halfway through. Just want to see how he actually interacts with proper enemies on Steel Path. Not just like random enemies in the simulacrum, okay? But proper, proper enemies. Caliban's still decent enough. It's just, I feel like he's too slow for the current iteration of Warframe maybe. Because there's so many other Warframes that could get a rework before Caliban. Right, you just throw down your, your buddies. Make sure they're down there. Make sure to hit that. And then you just go buck wild. Oh, no, I do not have enough. I'm trying to remember, what do I have on? Oh yeah, I have my regular new core. I can throw my on-call crew. Because all of the added AI enemies, even though they don't heal your shield the best, they are nice because they take off any of the enemy fire. So they're not like the worst, even if they aren't getting you your max shield. It's, it's not that bad. It's still very useful having your little sentient buddies running around. But then you might notice like, I'm not really using a ton of my abilities. Use those to knock them up and do some damage, but yeah, I'd say Caliban works decently enough, but just not good enough. It's not quite good enough, right? Could blast that. Now I have to shield gate, which is always a problem. Yeah, see? By the time I try to throw down a conch list, it's like, uh, you need to do other sort of uh, shield gating survivability. I could have just rolling guarded, but I just I wanted to see if I could get it down in time. It's just kind of like, I want to show off the annoyances of the kit. It's because like the fourth ability, it, ca it casts so long. So you probably want to get the yellow shards so it shoots faster. Yeah. It's kind of a pain. It's definitely kind of a pain. Then you'll have to hit your abilities there so you don't get downed. I don't have like the auger mods or shield gate regen mods on my Caliban. I'm just like trying to mess around with them. It's by no means my done build because I don't play Caliban. Just what I'm using for now. 
I think I might... Yeah, I might actually have an auger mod on. I'd have to double check. But that right now is Caliban. And I suspect that's why he's getting reworked. He's like, he's pretty decent in theory, but in practice it just doesn't work out. His first ability is useless because, as you can see, I might be healing up my HP, but I'm almost dead the entire time. And I pretty much just got lucky that I didn't get killed there. So you can't realistically use your first ability for that long, because when I, if you do, you're just going to end up dead. Like, oh crap, the enemies are shooting me, right? Like, what, what are you going to do? So it's not really an ability you can actually use. Oh, this is also... I should just uh, take the death. That was my bad. I didn't mean to hit last grasp. So I think I have my uh, my buddy here. So I'll just end up dying anyways. Oh, okay, there we go. My bad, my bad. So yeah, everybody, that's Caliban. He spawns little sentients to heal him and do some damage. He has a nice little damage increase AoE uh, partial stun because it like knocks in the air, right? You have a spin that is almost entirely useless. Like in theory, Razor Dyer could do stuff, but it, it's an entirely useless ability. So if you would want to helmet anything off, it would be your first ability on Gyre right now because like it just doesn't have enough points. We'll look at the augment mods right after, but that is essentially a full Caliban. You just play around, dick around, and that's how the abilities go. I think, honestly, if you're just going for survival, yeah, maybe people like using Sevagoth Gloom, because I know how many people loved using Gloom for a while there on Caliban, but, yeah, people will probably go with some other type of abilities these days. I'm kind of curious what anyone's running on Caliban, because I've just, I've never really cared for Caliban. I like his abilities on paper, but when they actually come to playing the game, they just, they don't feel good, right? Like, in theory, you'd be like, oh, you have Armor Strip, you have Shield Regen, Holy crap, you have like uh, AI buddies. All of that sounds really good. You have damage multi multiplier increase. It just, it's just not good. It sounds good, it's just not good, man. It's just not good. So you have Caliban himself, which like even with the numbers upgraded, it's like, yeah, full debuff of armor. It takes so long to cast. Yeah, it is a big debuff duration. So they're gonna die by the time you do that. Like, even with all the numbers upgraded, the damage vulnerability on the second ability might be the nicest thing there. None of the first abilities uh, numbers matter, though. Small amounts of damage, a small heal. Razor Gyre is only really good for stomping low levels, I'd say. Because, like, what else would you use it for? The any mod? We have Tremor's Bond. Okay, so if I look at any of the... Oh, God. Do I have any Caliban-specific mods? Oh, I don't! I don't have Caliban Augment Mods. What? Are there any Caliban Augment Mods? Let me double check, because if there's none, I'm going to have a little laugh. There has to be, right? Oh my god! There are no Caliban? There are no Caliban Mods. No wonder. Yeah, Warf D's never given a shit about Caliban. I was like, does he really have no Augment Mods? Come on, really? No. Yeah, there are no Augment mods. Well, I'll be. Hopefully they add some Augment mods with Caliban. I'm like, am I actually going crazy? Or do they never add any Augment mods for Caliban? Huh, so... That's Cal that's Caliban right now. It's, it's crazy to me that we don't have Caliban Augment mods, but I think they're adding some new ones with the rework. I, I'm just surprised there's zero Caliban Augment mods. Clearly, this is a Warframe that has been ignored and hated by DE because it's just, there's nothing to do with them. The, Caliban was released and then ignored completely. So, yeah, let me know what you think. That's Caliban. It makes sense why Caliban's getting reworked. It's just, it's a very goofy situation. So, let me know what you think. Sub like. Use Epic Games creator code Pupsker to support the channel. Cheers.